Sebastian Ogier had the world at his feet with rumoured offers from numerous teams after Volkswagen's departure last year. But the man who managed to secure his signature was one Malcolm Wilson. On that day that I, I, I announced it to the staff, I'd already planned that we were uh, going to make the announcement to the staff about, about the year and, the, and the year that we'd had and obviously the year ahead and the workload and what we were doing. So, um, yeah, it was great in the fact that, of course, we, you know, we, we could announce it basically straight away. Oh, sorry. Uh, one small thing. Sebastian Ogier will be driving for us next year. <laughs> I made that announcement at five o'clock, and it was only nine minutes past four when he actually agreed to join us. So I think everybody knows how excited I was when I, when, you know, when I told the staff. So, um, yeah, but then, of course, everybody knew that then that's when the pressure starts. Big disappointment for everybody in the sport that uh, that VW were going to withdraw. But of course, that presented an incredible opportunity for us. You know, we came very close to signing Sebastian back in 2010, 2011. So when that opportunity arose, then you know the, the target was first of all was to get him to try our car. We got him into the car as soon as he could after after Australia, and uh, obviously pleased to see that he was he was happy with uh, with the car and the potential. Once the decision was made, then uh, it was an incredible boost for everybody back at uh, M Sport, like uh, like something I've never seen, to be honest. First uh, test I had in the car was uh, yes, pretty good. I mean, my first impression of the car was was not bad. Of course, when you jump out of a Polo that you know by heart that you've been driving for five years, it's always going to be different. I had a feeling that there is a potential in this team, even if I knew all the context, I knew that uh, I would go on a, a team with much less uh, budget than the, the official team. It becomes very clear again once you start talking with him, once you start working with him, uh, why he's four times world champion. And to be honest, his, his commitment, his dedication, his attention to detail, and always pushing, you know, pushing the engineers, pushing the designers, pushing me to, you know, to make changes, to improve things. I was motivated to try the adventure, and I would have loved to have more time to prepare this. Uh, so obviously, going to be. A difficult start in the season, uh, but we'll stress our feeling and hopefully get quickly some good sensation with the car, good feeling, and be able to make some performance if possible. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.